Former Ohio State star turned Ohio Congressman Anthony Gonzalez thinks he may have an answer to that problem. He's planning to propose a national law to give college athletes the chance to make endorsement money. Really important here. Let's welcome in Congressman Anthony Gonzalez. Congressman, explain for people watching this. I think some of this can be confusing. What does the federal law do to remedy this issue we're talking about? Yeah, so first off, thanks for having me. And, and you're right. I, I think uh, you have two questions to ask yourself. One is, do you believe players should be able to capitalize on name, image, and likeness? I am a firm yes on that. I've been a yes on that for a long time. I think the next question is equally important, which is how do you do it? Uh, the way that California has set this up, uh, their state is ahead of everybody else. And so you'll have a situation, I would agree, happening, I would argue happening right now, where players would be making decisions based on the state with the most favorable law. So what I think we need is, is a national standard that levels the playing field for everybody, has the appropriate guardrails in place, as Gene Smith was just discussing on that clip you played, uh, so that it makes sense for everybody. That's ultimately what I'm going to be driving towards. Now, I know you have a relationship with Gene Smith. He's a member of that working group that was sort of looking at this legislation, is expected to make recommendations to the NCAA a little bit later this month. How does he feel, or have you talked to him about this proposal, and how does he feel about it if you have? You know, we've talked uh, briefly in, in broad brushstrokes, not in, in major detail, but uh, my goal, again, is, is to have something that works for everybody. So I'm going to wait, certainly, for, for Gene to put forth his proposal. I know Gene. I, I trust Gene. I know he has everybody's best interest in mind. Um, and then I'll put forth uh, mine uh, after seeing that and, and weighing the other state laws that I'm looking at. So um, it's, it, we are early in the process. Uh, I want to kind of strike that home. I know there's a rush to do this, but mm -hmm. it's more important that we get it right uh, than anything else. And, and so um, just want to make sure we do that. You know, I think a lot of people out there are looking at this situation and saying, NCAA, the train has left the station. You need to get on. And they view the NCAA as being reluctant. How do you view the NCAA's handling of what's happening right now on this issue? You know, I think if you would have asked me a couple years ago, I would have said, yeah, that's probably true. But I think um, in today's day and age, I, I believe that society, broadly speaking, uh, kind of looks at this issue and says, wow, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense um, to have the situation that we do today. I mean, if you were to start the NCAA from scratch today, uh, you wouldn't have that in place. Um, and so I think there's movement, right? But, um, but the NCAA is a, a big institution like many of our institutions, and sometimes a little prodding uh, can help. Uh, and, and so I think that's kind of where we're at today. Prodding always does help when you talk about congressional prodding. So let me ask you then, if the NCAA, I mean, they've got the working group, they seem to want to do this, but I've had people tell me, you know, the NCAA has had working groups before. They've had commissions before examining these issues. So if they decide not to really do anything before 2023, what happens and does the government feel like it has to step in before that? Well, I think we're in uncharted territory, right? So the California law is law of the land in the state of California. Um, and so with no action whatsoever, uh, you would have a situation, I believe, where each state would have different laws and you would have players making decisions on where to go to school, not based on what academic program makes sense, not based on what school makes sense for a variety of factors, but based on which state has the best regulatory environment for the player. But I mean, I, I mean, just to interrupt you really quick, a, just to interrupt you really quick, I mean, field. federally, does the government have to step in if nothing is happening by 2023 to make sure that is, there isn't that disparity among states? It, it appears to be the case. As, mm -hmm. as it sits right now, that appears to be true. All yes. right. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate the time, and please come back and visit us uh, once you move forward with that proposal. It's very interesting to see and an interesting issue. Thank you.